Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another Pokemon card artist spotlight. And what better time to feature the one and only Mitsuhiro Rita than right now. We've had a couple signings recently and a signing coming up in about a month's time in Toronto at the Toronto Regionals. So what better time to look at the cards that people can possibly get signed during that uh, event. All right, we got the Bulbapedia bio here. As always, I'll put the links down in the description in case you want to check these out yourself. And uh, I, yeah, I encourage you to do so. As always, let me know what your favorites are. Uh, if you have any, which ones, If even if you're not going uh, in an attempt to get signatures, which ones would you have signed? Which ones are your favorite? Uh, which ones are the the most noteworthy? I guess noteworthy. We kind of. I, I have a feeling I'm going to see a lot of base set Charizard, pretty iconic. Uh, but uh, but um, maybe anything but. Even if you're going to use that as your top pick, let me know what your second pick is. All right. So Rita, born January twelfth, nineteen seventy, in Fukuoka Prefecture. Probably pronouncing that wrong. My apologies as a freelance illustrator who has been providing artwork for the Pokemon trading card game since its inception. In addition to Pokemon, he has also provided artwork for several other trading or collectible card games based on franchises such as Shin Megami Tensei, Monster Hunter, and Super Sentai. He has provided many illustrations for Final Fantasy XI online content, as well as producing written articles featuring works and cover art across numerous publications. He likes to paint pictures while he travels, a hobby he calls mobile painting, which he has also written about in a few publications. He is completely self-taught in his artistry. I forgot to open up the... Um, you, you can see he posts very often on Twitter, uh, both some of the stuff that he's done uh, for the, the Pokemon TCG, but also usually whatever he's working on, especially this uh, the stuff where he's traveling and and sort of uh, sketching, drawing, painting, all of the, uh, the, the surroundings, the buildings especially. Um, pretty cool stuff. So good idea to, uh, to follow him on there. I'll include that in the description as well. All right, work for the TCG. Arita has continued to produce illustrations since the very beginning of the TCG, and as a result, he is among the TCG's most prolific artists. Arita has started doing art for the cards in their prototype stages, even before Pokemon Red and Green versions had been released, not knowing if they would be a success. He did not know how long the job would last. He said of the experience, I was honestly worried about finding another project before the end of my contract. Arita's coloring style has changed over the years. His earlier illustrations were a mix of watercolor or pastel with distinct outlines, but he has developed a more fluid style that emphasizes the use of vibrant colors as well as light and shadow to create dynamic and realistic looking images. Many of his images also use high and low angles to tilt to help achieve this. For a list of cards he has illustrated, go here. We're not going to go there. We're going to go to the very reliable PKMNCards.com, and we'll check out uh, this list. We're going to go in order. Uh, this includes everything in English. Y yeah, there's some stuff that hasn't been released yet in English that has been in Japanese. Um, and also, there's probably some cards that are not listed here, uh, just if they're Japanese exclusive. That's the that's the reason. But uh, this will give us a pretty good idea, and I think this will give us a good... Uh, we're going to do by date released. So we'll see that uh, that change in art style as we go through. So right away, first one on the list, the, the Charizard. We got the Charizard Gyarados Venusaur. Lots of base set. Again, very iconic. Uh, and uh, compared to uh, these days, much uh, much smaller sets, but also less artists that are uh, that are creating the artwork for the cards. Uh, so it's sort of interesting to see that maybe. Uh, the artists aren't necessarily doing less Pokemon cards, but uh, there are more artists and more cards per set than ever. You guys know how hard those sets are to complete these days. We got the Dugong for Blasty. As per usual, we got some very iconic cards from the base set uh, amongst the starters here. When you have the Venusaur, you got the Bulbasaur, you got the Charmander, Charmeleon. Pretty cool stuff. Abra on the Tree. The Machop. The, the base set Pikachu. I guess I, we'll put that on the list too. If this is your favorite, or the Charizard, and or the Charizard, 
Uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pick an additional one down there in the uh, comment section. Let me know the Clefable, all super super iconic from the uh, Watsi era, and cool to see uh, that he's still doing art on cards to this day. So you can see definitely a distinct style in this older older work. Get Charizard again. Don't you dare put in the comments that your your favorite is the base set two Charizard. Uh, that counts as the same artwork, in my opinion. All right. It's crazy he didn't get the uh, the Ivysaur since he did the the full Charizard line. Then he did the Bulbasaur and the Venusaur. Uh, you would think that that would be that would be included. And definitely some of the the best stuff from those early days. Um, back then, you have to kind of remember, a lot of the backgrounds were very simple, like Dark Dragonite here and Dark Blastoise. Um, whether or not that was just because they wanted more hollow foil to show up. I mean, there were non-hollow versions of this stuff in Rocket, so it's, it's kind of odd that they, that they did that, but uh, that was kind of the way. There wasn't much going on in the background. Very cool here with the Dark Slow Bro. You guys know I like to have the Pokemon Trainer in the background with the Pokemon uh, doing something. A little action shot going on. Especially if it's characters from the uh, the anime and the games. Um, and we'll see here. We're, start, we're already starting to see a little bit of a change in art style here. Um, not drastic. I mean the cards themselves once you get into the, the Neo era. Uh, sort of change a little bit uh, on the whole. But uh, interesting, always interesting to see uh, any of the artists that have done cards for a long time or that, you know, change their art style uh, in any way. It's kind of cool to see. So we got 12 pages, but uh, a lot of these, again, we got legendary collections. So we got more reprints there. Uh, very iconic Squirtle. Got to love the, the bubbles, the bubbles coming out of them. For Alligator, this one is absolutely awesome. I'm, I would imagine that anyone who is a For Alligator fan, this is going to be amongst your favorite cards for sure. The Christmas Flaffy, very cool to see the, uh, we got the Flaffy powering the Christmas tree. Uh, would make for a perfect Christmas time advent calendar type set. I wish that the um, it's the advent calendar that we just got recently was awesome, but I kind of I kind of wish that they did like special arts. Uh, that were more like Christmas related, holiday re related stuff, um, rather than a lot of them are just ice type Pokemon. Love this Hound Hour. Again, we're seeing a little bit more of the uh, the art change already within these cards. That Rapidash is awesome. I know somebody's gonna say this Umbreon is their favorite. The rooftop Umbreon, the original, not the original. I guess this would be the second Moonbreon. Second Moonbreon, probably. This Totodile, uh, definitely one of my favorite Arita works here, Chasing the Oddish. Um, again, guys, if there's a story going on, I like it. It gets extra bonus points to the extreme. Quagsire here doing his best for Alligator Impression. Very cool. The Hypno here with the Dream Eater, I guess. The poor sleeping victim. Unfortunately, it doesn't, uh, doesn't say doesn't have the Dream Eater attack. It would be more appropriate, but nonetheless, the artwork is awesome. Um, this in here uh, with the e-reader sets especially, uh, this is, in my opinion, like peak Pokemon artwork, uh, especially for the time, uh, just drastically different um, than, uh, than what, we, what we had for expectations uh, in the earlier sets. And again, they didn't know what it was going to take off. A lot of the artwork in the beginning, in the very beginning, was very basic because they probably wanted people to be able to identify the Pokemon. Uh, and most importantly was the fact that it looked like the actual po Pokemon. They didn't necessarily need an Ursa Ring. Well, Ursa Ring wasn't around at that point. But they didn't need an Ursa Ring in a hot tub. We do. We do, at this point, need Ursa Ring in a hot tub. We got some crystals. So it'll be interesting to see here too. Uh, there's definitely going to be a variety of the different cards. You guys know that this is going to be my favorite, and uh, definitely, uh, if I had my pick, this would be the the one that I would get signed. Um, and definitely my my favorite of the three Arita Mawiles, the first and favorite of my three. P 
Pikachu. I love this Pikachu. It does looks a little different, um, but I like that the little natural kind of look. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on in the background, but it's kind of I don't know. It kind of fits. It's like a mouse that's kind of looking out, maybe hears something. <laughs> this poor low tad here dying of heat. Someone get this this low tad a, a cup of cold water. All right, what else we got here? Fortress. Looking good. Again, we got the partially underwater kind of sideways look. Uh, seems to be a little bit of a theme. Uh, we got the the secret the secrets here with the Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Very cool. 98, 99, and 100. Uh, these also had, I don't know if they were regional. They're stamped promo versions of these as well that are pretty cool. We got some technical machines. Pokemon tools. Really like this uh, this Absol secret rare. Really, really cool. Um, number 96 from Team Magma and Team Aqua. Jirachi here looking looking snazzy. We got the Pikachu once again. This is from like uh EX trainer kit, I guess. The Latios one. You got the little stamp down in the bottom. Um, interesting enough. Hard probably I think I'm still I have a bunch of these. But I haven't necessarily put them in order. I'm gonna have to see if I can track them all down as variants, put them at the back of the binder. We got a Matang Stadium Challenge. I think there was something about this too. There was like different versions, or maybe there's a staff one that I'm thinking of. The Growdown. Very cool. We got these like shattered boys here from Hidden Legends. Uh, what is it, 97, 98, 99? Ooh, that Clefairy is pretty cute. Next page. We gotta move somewhat quick. There are a lot of cards, uh, just so I'm not keeping you guys all day. But feel free to pause the video if there's anything that you wanna really take a gander at. Like the EXs. Really cool. We got the Squirtle. The old uh, album art Squirtle. The naked baby. Dark Muck, Dark Weezing. Love these. Again, Team Rocket Returns. Um, man, I hope we get another set, something like that. These are all really, really awesome. And sort of interesting enough, we had Rita do a lot of the dark Pokemon, uh, previously in the original Team Rocket, and now we have Team Rocket Returns, where he's doing a lot of the dark Pokemon as well, and as far as I know, or as far as I can recall, uh, he didn't end up doing any of the light Pokemon. I don't know if there was a reason for that, but uh, if anyone knows or has any idea, please do let me know. Maybe that'll be something that uh, someone can ask in the Q&A session in Toronto. Very cool. We got the Saviper. It'd be nice if uh, when the, the same artist gets to do the Zangoose and the Saviper, since they are mortal enemies. Uh, if anyone knows the anime, they always attack each other. Really like this Trico. We got we the sunlight coming through, climbing the tree. So you can see, uh, even as we continue here, drastic changes in the art style. This Gligar is pretty awesome as well. We got some EXs. Shout out to the real Typhlosion from the Discord. If you guys aren't in the Discord, what what are you doing? Get in there. Tyranitar EX, Persian EX. Very, very cool. For some reason, I thought I thought the Persian EX was from Team Rocket Returns, but apparently not. Is it from Unseen Forces? Am I losing my mind? I might be. Turns out when you look at and you collect too many different types of uh, cards, and it's been a while since you go back and look, you kind of forget what's in what set. We got the Kabutops. Again, we got some really cool, very hollow foil filled cards here in this era. This Dust Ox, I think, is underrated. I don't know what it is. The colors, the hollow foil, it just. I'm not a Dust Ox enthusiast by any means, but the, that's uh, definitely a good one. We have another Mawile here. This is the Holon Phantoms. 
very cool very beautiful card again i'm a little bit biased because of my uh favorite pokemon being mawa we got the latios and latias i also definitely amongst my my favorite pokemon like this vile plume here really really cool a little bit of a different perspective on the torquil do like that we got a cast form for adam Again, guys, make sure you're paying attention here. Make sure you're letting me know down below what your favorites are. And that there are a lot of good Nitto King arts. I don't know if it's uh he always he always looks really, really badass. We got the uh, Chin Chow, Chin Chu for Miles. Torchic being cute. Delta species, lots of Delta species. Which is interesting. Gyarados for fits. We got the Cranidos. I like these action shots. Give me those action shots. We got another Ursaring. Interesting enough. I don't know. Is this? I never noticed this before. Is this Croconaw like a, a throwback with the underwater? Partly underwater? You guys let me know. Is it? I think I'm pretty sure it is. We got the Badoof for Billy. Cranidos there. Looking back at a swirl. We got Miltank here. I used to always like not understand people's pain with Miltank uh, in terms of how difficult it was in the games. But recently with the Miltank that you uh, you cannot hit with a V type Pokemon, um, I, uh, I understand the pain. It's a different sort of pain, but still pain nonetheless. We got, another, we got a Hypno here. This is kind of neat. I don't know. This is kind of like a throwback as well. Interesting enough. I never noticed that either. I really like this Kingler in Under the Rock. We got a Waylord from Waylord. Waylord from the Discord. Shout out to him. We got a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything. It'd be interesting to see how many Pokemon he's uh, Arita has actually illustrated and how many he hasn't. It's got to be more. I mean, there's 900 Pokemon now, so it'd be difficult, but there's a lot here. I like this Weedle. Not sure exactly what he's doing. Hiding under the leaves. Um, coming through the snow. Christmas Weedle. Maybe that should have been in an advent calendar as well. I mean, it might have been. I can't quite recall which ones were and which sets were, but I'm pretty sure right in around this era, there was a, a Snowflake Stamp set. Polyrath doing a butt slam in the water. Sunfernape is pretty cool. A little bit of a different perspective. Different is good. I like different. Uh, we got the Charizard here from Stormfront. Uh, 103 out of 100. Again, we got the uh, the secret rare outside the uh, outside the boundaries. I think, were there regional promos of these as well? Maybe I'm confusing these with the other ones. Um, but maybe, no, I don't think there were, because I don't recall there being a special version of this Charizard. This might just be secret, secret category within the set. I could be wrong. PK would know. I'm sure that's, uh, that's something that, uh, is on his repertoire of, of, uh, expertise. I like this Licky Licky, licking through the leaves. Very cool. Again, we got sort of like an autumn feel going on with these recent uh, with these cards that we're making our way through in now with Platinum. I don't know if this was a set that actually came out in the fall, but that would be pretty cool if it was. Even the Empoleon, we got leaves kind of floating down through the water. I like it. Tauros. Maybe we need like a fall collection or something. Espeon. Very cool. Uh, you guys know I like these SP Pokemon with the Elite Four. Uh, cool that, uh, I don't know if these were all done. Similar to Versus series where like each trainer uh, was done by a certain artist or the majority of them were. But it sure looks like it. With the Floatzel, the Luxray. I picked up one of these um, ages ago. I love level X's so much. Like I don't, I, I just like them. I think they're like the best out of the the kind of older specialty cards. Um, like them way more than primes, and even more than like EXs and GXs and stuff like that. I don't know. 
the level X is just do it for me. It's the right, uh, it's the right amount of like popping out of the border. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly, but I definitely like them. And I especially like the ones that are the, the SPs. I think they're pretty, pretty awesome. Drip Blim looking real happy. I like the texture that's going on there. We got a couple Gengars, one for Rage here, maybe. Very cool. Up on the roof. Um, amazing detail on the buildings in around them. I uh, like the menacing grin that's going on as well. Also extremely cool that uh, he did all three from the Evolution line, the Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. This Feebas is kind of cool. I like how he's got the little kind of like the fish, fish bend. Seems like he's actually swimming. He's not just floating there in the water. Uh, Magikarp here is actually jumping up out of the water. Right now, Umbreon on the roof. Um, eh, I'm not I'm not quite as much of a fan as this one as I am the uh, the older one that was also on the roof. I think a little bit more detail. Nighttime kind of is more suitable. Here it just looks like you, you got an Umbreon walking across the roof during the day. Maybe just trying to go find somewhere to nap. We got the Oddish Gloom and Vileplume line. Again, guys, why did Pokemon Company, please make the artist do like all three. And if you can even like incorporate them together somehow, we got the, we got the stone, the Evo stone on the ground there. We got the little, the little Celebi, Celebi box. There's probably a name for that. Let me know down below if you know what the name of the, uh, the box is for Celebi. It's probably something um, that <laughs> actually exists. Dragonite flying through the sky. Shout out to Fitz on that one too. You know, he's a Dragonite enthusiast, Dragonite and Gyarados enthusiast. I do really like this Umbreon. I know it's daytime, but uh, I don't know, just the expression, what's going on here. I like it. Another really nice Magikarp. Uh, we got some cool things going on with the waves. So very easy to make a fish Pokemon look kind of um, boring, but uh, when you get the nice action shot jumping up out of the water and or doing a little fishy flail, it really adds adds something to it. Oshawott, uh, looking extra menacing, extra cute at the same time. Uh, definitely the best starter from the anime, if you know, you know. Very cool stuff. So just an immense amount of very different stuff. Love this Bulbasaur, uh, my first starter. I'm definitely a, a Bulba. Bulbasaur kid, uh, back in the day, I know everyone picked Charizard, and everyone that didn't pick Charizard picked Blastoise, but this is kind of neat. We got the uh, crustal here with some other crustals kind of hanging out beside them. Not sure why they're all in that one spot, and seemingly inside a building of some sort. All right, we got the third Mawile coming up, like this one as well. The old Plasma Freeze, number 80. Beautiful card. Um, my third of three. I do like all three of them, but uh, the other two, I think I like a little bit more. The detail in the, the background on this one is definitely, definitely amazing. But uh, just the expression from the Mawile itself, the other two are, are hard to beat. We got Caracosta. Down on the bottom of the water here. I like how the we got the dirt or the mud coming up from the the bottom. Very cool. We got the Rachu. Looks like a beautiful day. I don't know if he's sniffing there or what he's doing exactly, but Polyrath. It's a nice looking Polyrath. We got Giraffe Rig. Finally got that evolution. We like this. We got the nice expression. I don't know, there's a lot of artists that you that, that kind of do the artwork sideways, uh, and it kind of gives them more space um, to make the Pokemon bigger, I think is the primary reason for it. Also, just changes things up a little bit. It'd be interesting to see, and I think the only reason I'd be down uh, for like reprint sets would be if they extended the art, something like this. Uh, if they extended the art all the way through the card, I think if they had the original artist do that as well, that would be something like amazing. A lot of stuff that could be going on on the rest of the card, or maybe there's more to the artwork that didn't get included within the art box. Uh, that would also be pretty cool if there was a series of that. More shared artwork uh, would also be awesome. These two-third arts, 
if they did something like this instead of reverses, I think would be would be pretty awesome as well. Maybe they're extended art instead of uh, necessarily just foil. They can be foil as well, but something different, guys. Come on, Pokemon Company. Uh, you guys know I love the the Team Magma. This one from Double Crisis. Uh, with the, the the trainers in the background and stuff. I think it's nice. It tells a story. When you have more Pokemon in, in the picture, just all around better. We got this XY51 and 52 promo. I ordered quite a few of these on that Troll and Toad order that got stolen, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, I still don't have uh, either of those. Sort of sad. We got the Entei. Man, the two-third art card's just awesome. And then even then, uh, you get kind of the art comes down all the way to the bottom, but it's colored in a little bit. Basically a full art card. This Mewtwo. These secret rares with the other Pokemon on them. Absolutely amazing. I miss those. The Mewtwo here as well. Really, really cool. The Gyarados. We got the water Pokemon here. Shiny Gyarados. There are a lot of Shiny Gyarados cards. I mean, I guess it's kind of like the uh, the token Shiny Pokemon. This Alakazam. Really beautiful. Uh, these were awesome, too. We got the uh, the XY promos with the full art. We have Machoke and the Waterfall. It's not a waterfall I want to be caught in. We got the Gardevoir. Very, very cool. Again, these I man, these secret rares are underrated. These were I they're probably still extremely cheap, but they were like painfully cheap. Like the price of maybe two packs or something. We got the evolutions back into the evolutions here. So we got more base set artwork. Um we got Rowlet here, SM01 Rowlet. I don't know if I have that one or not. Probably came with like one of the uh box sets that come out at the very beginning. Very cute Mimikyu here. Uh, I like the like kind of foggy wood woods theme going on. We got a Garbodor for Billy, her favorite. Lola Nine Tails, beautiful card. What else we got here? We got some some stamped promos, pre-release promos for Burning Shadows. We got the Mewtube. I know someone's gonna pick the Mewtube. Uh, absolutely beautiful artwork. I think mine is, if I can recall, very off center, which is kind of sad. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy to have one for the uh, for the binder. We got the uh, Latias. Gotta like this when you got the the corresponding or the complementary Pokemon in the background with the the Lati Latias and the Latios in the background, especially when they have alternate ones. So I think SM88 is the opposite. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so um, 87, 88, beautiful. I like that they're the same scene uh, from the movie, the uh, the village, and the two of them are there. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. We got the Lucario and the Lucario pre-release promo. So there's definitely a theme with that too, uh, the same artist doing the pre-release promo as the one in the regular set. Got to like to see that. Uh, also love the fact that they're different artwork. It's not just a stamp. You get a whole different Lucario. In this case, it's kind of like a different angle of the same Lucario, it seems, which is pretty awesome. We got a Zygarde. It's a cool Zygarde coming out. Uh, it's in Paradigm Trigger. Pretty awesome. Dog Doggy form. Onyx. Beautiful. A little throwback art style. The Dredagon. Very cool. Magikarp and Wailord. The tag team cards also absolutely amazing. And as we're seeing here, we're getting into some of those. Uh, cool to see the Arita Full Art Trainer. There are some of those. I think there are some Japanese exclusive ones as well. The Giovanni, maybe. Celebi and Venusaur. We got Pikachu and Zekrom. We got Gengar and Mimikyu. Tag teams, I think, like when they first came out, people were like, oh, they're going to put two Pokemon on a card now. Uh, but I don't know. It's it, it does something cool, especially when there's corresponding stuff. When you got like a muck and a lowland muck, this is this is a pretty cool one to see. Eevee and Snorlax. I mean, like Magikarp, Magikarp and Wailord. You got like one of the smallest Pokemon with uh, one of the largest. 
just seems like a, a good fit. A lot of these artworks, absolutely beautiful. Did a lot of the regular versions, it seems, which is pretty awesome. A lot of the regular versions. The the babies, the babies. Thought we were gonna get more of the uh, the three Pokemon on one card. There was only a limited limited amount of those. Uh, we had the the baby Pokemon. We had the ADP, which was busted in the TCG. And then we also had the uh, the birds, the glass birds, the stained glass legendary birds. So yeah, um, amazing. We also have a character rare here uh, from Cosmic. We got the Excadrill. I love love those cards. I'm so glad that uh, the character rares, uh, that sort of card came back into the TCG. I was so sad that we uh, we got Cosmic Eclipse and then it seemed it seemed like it was gone at that point. All right, what do we got? We got here, we got the Sloking V, the regular one. Seen a lot of regular ones, but then we also have the uh, the, the Secret. We got the Alt Arts, rather. Um, 205, 198, Shadow Rider. Like that. Beautiful card. There's a lot of these that are kind of underappreciated. The Noivern V, doing the Batman impression. We have the Extended extended Pikachu, and then we're back into the base set Charizard. I guess this is a little recap for everyone that loves the uh, the base set starters. We're getting we're straight back into them. The Pikachu. This I I'm I'm a fan. The Pikachu extended art. I think that was a long time coming before. Uh, you know, should have been should have been an earlier thing where they had extended art on the uh, original cards rather than just putting a stamp on them like this. I think this gives it a whole new whole new feeling still nostalgic but at the same time i think this this is this is a win we got the mu v one of the best looking v's in my opinion love the funky stuff going on in the background there we got the smeargle with the paint absolutely um memorable i don't know how many people have uh have brought up the fact that this is just such a beautiful card um, this is almost should have been like an alt art of some kind. Um, you just blow this up, make it uh, the full the full size of the card, and I think this is uh, this is alt art worthy in my opinion. You can't say that about too many of the uh, uh, cards, in like the regular cards. Sometimes, yeah, they're beautiful, uh, but this is like this stands out. I've had multiple people. Um, just distinctly, they they always remember that uh, that Smeargle. It might be the most memorable Smeargle. You guys let me know. Is there a Smeargle that you remember more than that one? And if so, if you watch this video, probably not. All right, Dialga. Still haven't pulled this one. Beautiful card, though. Love it. Love the colors. We have the Ice Rider Calyrex V from the Trainer Gallery. So we get Trainer Gallery. We got another character rare here beautiful uh, nice to see different artists give their perspective on the actual characters in the game and or in the anime in the pokemon realm and then to finish it off here we're ending with eternatus v max and there's more to come there's definitely more to come uh, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how the pokemon tcg progresses future arita artworks i know we got the lugia coming up beautiful card uh the the lugia v but, uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what your favorites are. I know this one was a little bit long. I think we had like 12 pages of cards to go through. But uh, thanks for sticking with me. Make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you have a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye.